Hey everybody, uh, Brian McCarthy here, and I'm going to be taking you through an AB ABC comparison of the reference 36 horns and the reference 54 horns by Selmer Paris. Let's begin. <laughs> So here I have the reference 54, which is modeled after the legendary uh, Selmer Mark VI horn. And one of the differences comparing the, the 54 to the 36 is that it's got a, a bigger, almost fatter, P-H-A-T, fatter sound to it, which is something I've always noticed between the balanced action horns, which is what I play, and uh, the Mark Sixes, you know, when we're talking vintage horns. Same sort of difference here in terms of the spirit or energy or personality of these horns. Not that one is better than the other, um, they're just uh, a different approach to it sound-wise. Uh, so that 54 has that kind of bigger, I can dig into it in a different way than the 36. Um, I can push it and it gets almost a little more aggressive uh, in its natural tendencies. Thank you. 
Ravens 54 in matte finish. Um, there is a, a sound difference between the matte finish 54 and the uh, regular gold lacquer 54. It's not a huge difference, but it is a, a little bit of a difference to me. I find the, the 54 in matte finish tends to be a little bit more subdued, a little bit darker. That doesn't mean a good or a bad thing compared to uh, the uh, regular lacquer. It's just a difference in tone preference and, you know, and a slight one. So it's something to consider um, when you're out there looking. If you've narrowed down to the 54, the reference 54, check them out in both a uh, matte finish and a regular um, finish just so you can kind of hear and feel the subtleties between the two. They both have that spirit of the Mark VI, that kind of big, fat, P-H-A-T, fat sound to them. Not that that is a better thing than the balance action versus uh, the Mark VI or the reference 36 versus the 54. They're just preferences of, of what you, the tone that you're looking for and uh, how much or how little you want to fight against the tendencies of that horn. <laughs> So here I have the reference 36, which is modeled after the balanced action tenor saxophone. Uh, that's the saxophone that I actually play. It's a 1946 balanced action horn. And the thing that I notice is that it's very similar to uh, my chosen vintage saxophone. 
um, so much so it, it was actually pretty striking to me when I was playing it. Sure, there's uh, difference, uh, differences between them, but in terms of the tone and the approach to it um, was surprisingly similar. And that's why uh, the Reference 36s are my favorite modern horns out there. It has that similarity to the, the sound, the tone qualities that I just kind of look after. And you can hear those in the uh, AB comparisons that I have in this video. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing that was striking to me is that uh, this reference 36 and uh, the regular lacquer uh, reference 54 um, 
were really close in terms of which horn do I uh, really love uh, more than the other. Because I actually found that I, I, I really love both of those. Um, and for very different reasons, because uh, they are a substantially and noticeably different horn for me. Uh, the reference 36 being that, um, you know, the spirit of the, the balanced action horn, the reference 54 being the spirit of that uh, Mark VI. I've played countless amounts of uh, Mark VI horns in my time, and it very much uh, instantly reminds me of like I'm playing a vintage horn, just with a lot of modern quality. So both of these horns have that great blend of vintage energy with modern craftsmanship and engineering, which means I don't have to fight the horn in, uh, in those sort of intonation ways. So yeah, after comparing the reference 36s uh, to the reference 54s to my 1946 balance action um, horn, my personal favorite uh, is still and has been for a very long time uh, the reference 36 horns because it is so um surprisingly similar to my uh, my vintage choice of uh, of saxophone which is the uh, the balanced action horns it has that slightly more focused tone to it wants to have a slightly more focused tone about it and you get into some rich colors um, that just kind of are naturally in my ear and I don't have to work uh, all that hard to kind of figure it out and get to that tone quality that I'm trying to produce uh, really quickly. But the, all the uh, the reference 54, the reference 36 in both matte lacquer and regular finish, um, they are a lot less work uh, for me to actually uh, play the saxophone. The low range uh, speaks in tune and speaks really well. Uh, surprisingly, it catches me sometimes how easily I have to approach those notes compared to my vintage horn where I have to, you know, spend a lot of time trying to control those notes, keep the intonation as close to in tune as I can um, and get them to speak the way that I want to. On these modern horns, this, the modern intonation is, um, it's a remarkable thing uh, that just allows you to work less and put that energy that normally you, you would uh, put into it somewhere else, whether that's producing uh, the tone that you want or going after the uh, the language that you're trying to play. <laughs> 